Hi guys, welcome back to another video of Edgewood channel. So today we will be discussing about the drugs which are given before anesthesia. That is the pre-anesthetic drugs or so moving to the introductory part. Pre-anesthetic drugs are used to prepare the patient for induction and contribute to the maintenance and smooth recovery from anesthesia. So they are actually used under safe anesthetic protocol and in tailoring the anesthetic regimen suitable for species, breeds and all ages etc. So the aims of pre-medication that is actually to reduce the fear and complication because our patients are animals. So once they are taken to operation theatre and all they will not be comfortable with those micro atmosphere. So they will be having a stress and they will be having fear. So we have to control the fear and stress and calm the patient. So next is actually to reduce the distress during restraining and minor manipulations like catheter placement etc. So next is actually to produce pre, intra and post operative analysis. So we are using surgical blades and all. There is a chance of pain. So we have to produce analgesia. So to reduce the salivary secretion and airway secretion. Airway secretion we have to reduce because proper ventilation should be administered. To de decrease the total quantity or amount of the major anesthetic drug and to reduce the side effect of the major anesthetic drug. To provide smooth injection, to provide intraoperative complications like uh, vomit, should be prevented like vomiting and regurgitations. To provide safe and smooth recovery. So always remember there are no pre anesthetic drug combinations that can be safely and routinely administered to all patients. And pre anesthetic drugs should be selected according to the patients needed rather than the route in administration. So moving to the factors to be considered. So we have to think about many factors whenever we are going for the pre-anesthetic medication. So the first one is actually the patient's age, breed and species. So sometimes the aged animals will show some deleterious side effects towards a drug or some species will be having some problems with the drugs or some species or the breeds will be having some contraindications with the drugs. So we have to think about that. Next is actually the physical status. We have to go for the, we have to check the weight, we have to check the body condition of the animal and we have to be very vigilant with the animal's physical status. So next is actually the surgical procedure and the duration. So we have to see what surgical procedure we are going to do. So the whether the pre-anesthetic medication is okay for the surgical procedure and the duration of the surgical procedure also we should consider. Next is the inpatient and outpatient. Next is elective and emergency surgery. Next is familiarity of anesthetist with the drugs. So the anesthetist will be very familiar with the drugs so that whenever any complications is happening in between the surgery, he can easily manage it. So next is the pre-medicants or the pre-anesthetics which are mainly used in the veterinary field. So they are actually mainly classified into the four categories that is anticholinergics, tranquilizers or neuroleps, sedatives and opioid agents. So moving to the anticholinergic agents, we are very familiar with the atropine and dicopyrrolate. Next is the tranquilizers or neuroleps. We are very familiar with the phenothiazine derivatives that is the chlorpromazine acepromazine etc. Next is the butyrophenones that is droperidol, haloperidol, azapirone etc. Next is the benzodiazepines. We are very familiar with the benzodiazepine. They are actually the diazepam, midazolam, alprazolam etc. So sedatives mainly we will be using the alpha 2 adrenergic agonist that is the xylazine, detomidin, metatomidin etc. So next is the opioid agents. They are actually the agonist and the partial agonist antagonist cat. So the agonist will be mainly the morphine and meperidine, whereas the partial agonist and antagonist will be the pentazosine or the pentazocaine and neutrophenones. So moving to the picture gallery, so this is actually the diazepam drug. So they are actually used as the sedatives, anxiolytics, etc. So they are also used in the pre-medications that is the pre-anesthetic. So diazepam belong to the benzodiazepine category of pre-medication. So next is the xylazine injection. So they are actually the alpha 2 adrenergic agonist. So they are actually the sympathetic drug. 
xylazine. They are actually also used as the local anesthetic, xylazine sometimes. The next drug is actually the drop pyridol. They are actually belonging to the uh, second categories and they will not be belonging to the butyrophenones, phenobiazine derivatives, etc. So droperidol is actually used with the fentanyl and they are producing the innovarvex that is neuroleptanalgesia. So this is the midazolam, they also belong to the benzodiazepine category. So next is the anticholinergic drugs, they are mainly the glycopyrrolate and the atropine sulfate. So thank you.